go off the rails. Don't you know it's time to raise our sails? It's freedom like you never knew. Money bags or a pass, say the word, I'll be there in a flash. You could say my hat is off to you. Oh, we can zoom all the way to the moon. Jump with me, grab coins with me, oh yeah! It's time to jump up in the air Jump up, don't be scared Jump up and your cares will soar away And if you die, clouds don't just work Do you know what? What? I said, do you know what? Silly! Of course I don't know what! If you don't tell me what what is! Sir Topham Hatt says that the work in the yard is too heavy for me. He's getting a bigger engine to help. Rubbish, Percy! Any engine could do it. If you worked more than chatted less, this yard would be a sweeter, a better, and a happier place. Percy went off to fetch some coaches. That stupid old signal. He was remembering the time he misunderstood the signal and gone backwards instead of forwards. No one listens to me now. They think I'm a silly little engine and order me about. I'll show them. I'll show them. But he didn't know how. By the end of the afternoon, he felt tired and unhappy. He brought some coaches to the station. Hello, Percy. You look tired. Yes, sir. I am, sir. I don't know if I'm standing on my dome or my wheels. You look the right way up to me. Cheer up. The new engine is bigger than you and can probably do the work alone. Would you like to help build my new harbor? Thomas and Toby will help. Oh, yes, sir. Thank you, sir. The new engine arrived. Hello there. What's your name? Montague, sir. But I'm usually called Duck. They say I waddle. I don't really, sir. But I like Duck better than Montague. Good. Duck it shall be. Here, Percy. Show Duck Round. The two engines went off together. Soon they were very busy. James Gordon and Henry watched Duck quietly doing his work. He seems like a simple sort of engine. They'll have some fun and order him about. Quack! 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 Whee! Oh, Rope glowed everywhere! Percy was cross, but Doc took no notice. They'll get tired of it soon. Do they tell you to do things, Percy? Yes, they do. Right, we'll soon stop that nonsense. He whispered something. <laughs> we'll do it later. Ooh, this ought be good. Sir Tobin Hand was looking forward to hot butter toast for tea at home. Suddenly, he heard an extraordinary noise. Yeah, 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 you can't stop us. Bother! He said, then hurry to the yard. <laughs> Doc and Percy calmly sat down on the switches outside the shed, refusing to let the engines in. Gordon, James, and Henry were furious. Stop that noise! 
They won't let us in! Duck, explain this behavior. Beg pardon, sir, but I'm a great western engine. We do our work without fuss. But begging your pardon, sir, Percy and I would be glad if you informed these, um, engines that we only take orders from you. Percy and Duck, I am pleased with your work today, but not with your behavior tonight. You have caused a disturbance. Or that Henry and Sorry, Jake sir. sniggered. As for you three, <laughs> you've been worse. You made the disturbance. Duck is quite right. This is my railway, and I give the orders. After Percy went away, Duck was left to manage alone. He did so easily. <laughs>